Yeah, oh, you yeah. don't need to worry about the paddles, just leave it in second gear for now. Oh, there we are. And then in between it the paddles, better. we're <laughs> going to use, uh, we're gonna use just a few revs in between the yeah. paddles. Obviously, bear in mind, again, rear-wheel drive, yeah, 437 be. horsepower, so just be smooth with it and you'll be fine. You know what it's like driving one of those Skodas, even with the traction control, it's very light on its feet. Isn't yeah. It? There you are, you felt it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very slippery. You only barely touched the throttle, it was only in the top bit of it. It's very, these very, are very incredibly responsive. quick. Yeah. You need to fix right. your inputs, so get your wheel hands on the side of the wheel over the panels. Right, oh yes, like that. That's yeah. it, and then you just cross your hands over in the corner. So right. as you come down to here, you don't move your hands, you just turn the wheel so you right. can't stay with it. So turn into the right, right. you oh, can I easily see. get around the corner. Oh yes, you don't go and need much angle actually. No, that's it, then out wide, and if you use the correct line, so out wide yeah. and then in tight through, as you come through here, so accelerate, pull the right one to go up a gear. Carefully, I said then pull the right one. Good. It's very easy, it very easy. only gets to the end of this, so pull the left one, and you hear it flipping the throttle yeah. all the way down, it's good, yeah. isn't it? Flips the throttle on the downshift so that you don't get the rear wheels knocked on, it's lovely, yeah. it's a great piece of kit. So we are going to do some acceleration and braking exercises first of all, so we're going to accelerate down here as fast as you can, feel mm -hmm. comfortable, and then when I say brake, on the first one, I just want you yeah. to brake smoothly, and yeah. stop the car without locking the wheels up. Mm -hmm. Alright, won't we go. Is it on the gas? Yeah. Right down to a standstill. Yeah. Perfect. Amazing brakes. Really good. It's right. disc all round. It, it is disc all round and they're huge calipers. Mm. So we're going to go and have another go. So round to the left and back up the axis yeah, road. Up. So gently away and then hard on the gas. Yeah. On the gas. On the gas. Hard on the gas. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And brake hard. Hard as you can. Stay hard on the brake. That's it. Good. <laughs> there we are, no problem with yeah, so You no can worries. feel all the wheels locking up, you yeah, can feel the brake pedal pulsing. coming up and down, yeah. Yeah, and that's where it's releasing and then reapplying the hydraulic yeah. pressure. Hazards are on, where you go, and that mm -hmm. will come off. Right, so this time, you see the dots which are on the floor? Yes, okay. yes like the cat size. Yeah, effect, we're going to do a slalom in and out right. through those. Here we go. So, where you go? So, stay on the right of on the line, yeah. yeah. Good, keep going, go on, keep going. Oh, there's more still. All the way down. Perfect. That's better. That's better. interesting because you did the whole of the first bit feeding the wheel and then on the second bit you yeah. fixed your input. So we'll go around and do it again. This time I'm going to do the whole thing the way you did the last bit with your input. Because you're so used to, when you learn to drive, you always tells feed you, the wheel, yeah. Feed the wheel and if, and if you don't, they tell you what. <coughs> And it's, it's become set in nature after 20 years of driving. Exactly, it's yeah. very hard to break that habit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whereas we all, uh, in competition driving, we all just fix our inputs on the car. I'm presuming you have the steering set up so you don't need such a sharp angle. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I mean, a lot of ratio, competition yeah. cars yeah, have high ratio steering racks and yeah. things which makes a big difference. But these will be, obviously, with power steering anyway, a lot of cars now have got a higher ratio rack than they would have had yeah. in the older days. But yeah, even on tight turns like this, you have to have to do it there. Yeah. So around to the left. It'd probably be better in manual, wouldn't we? In second, in like going about second gear. I'll try that if you want. Yeah. Okay, where you go then. So nice and steady. Starting on the right. There we are. The right. Keep those there. inputs still. That's just left and right all yeah. the line. The other thing I'm more used to as well is not oh, turning right. sharply because of giving everybody else a smooth ride. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice smooth driving. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, so this time, first of all, we're going to do an emergency stop just at 35, 40 miles an hour. Yeah. There we go. There you are, where the marker is, yeah. Okay, away you go. So it'll hold yeah. you back at that speed. Yeah. So accelerate away. Keep going. Or keep going. It'll hold you back. Keep going. Keep going. And brake hard. There you are. You can feel how slippery. Feel it's like. Cheap ice. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. It's yeah. Like we switch the ESP off completely. Yeah. Hold on. There we are. <laughs> Right, boot it away as hard as you can. So you can see it just doesn't work good. Yeah. If we put it back on again, yeah. as soon as you put it on, yeah. you can feel it kicking yeah. in and out. Yeah. That's it. So down to the end there. 
brake hard, and they just want you to steer gently left and right whilst you're on the brake. Right. Where you go. So off the gas, off the gas, so it won't hold you back in the full throttle, brake hard and very gently steering left and right. Oh yeah. Fast. And that's it. You can see the ESP will help you do everything you need yeah. to do. That's no amazing, isn't it? It's really yeah. good, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, if you go full throttle, you hear the beep, and yeah. then that's it. You've overcome the limiter and it will go flat out. Right. Carry on down to the end. There we are, I know you see that you're on the light, are they? Yeah. <laughs> Very clever, isn't it? It is indeed. So back round again to the west train. Now the inside lane and the outside lane are normal tarmac. The lane we're in, in between the two white lines, which are quite hard to see in this sun, yeah. is very, very It looks very shiny actually. So we've got the ESP switched off. Oh yeah, you feel it just then. Yeah, so give a little go. Yeah. And I think you'll find you'll end up spinning around fairly easily. So on the brake, stay hard on the brake. Yeah. <laughs> and then round to the left. And we up. No problem. There. So what no. happened there is you've, you've nearly caught the slide, but yeah. by going on the brake, it's caused it to spin. It's made it worse. So yeah. do a huge U-turn around to the right. Good. 